Good morning, my Mystic Tribe. Welcome to your daily reading for April 2nd, 2021. This will be a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All the timestamps for each sign will be in the description box below. Uh, this could be your energy or your person's energy. So roles can be vice versa. Same with male, female can be vice versa. And please do make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new videos, when I have my giveaways, shout outs to my winners, and when I do my Wednesday night live free readings. My social media links are in the description box below as well. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you'd like a private reading with me, uh, my information is in the description box, my website, and my email address. Okay, um, you could just have. I'm gonna ask you to just bear with me today. This is not a, exactly a good morning for me. A little bit in pain, but um, we are going to get through this, right? With the help of spirit, I'm gonna. We're gonna get through this reading. Anyhow, let's go ahead and dig in. Hello, Aries. Welcome to your daily reading for. April 2nd, 2021. Let's see what we have. Okay. First thing that we have is we have Aries Scorpio energy with the Tower card. There you are. And then we have Aries Leo Sagittarius with the King of Wands. And then we have the Emperor, Aries energy here. So, something that you might need to look out for today, or for, for the second, is maybe some kind of argument so that could potentially be explosive between two people of authority. Uh, we have one person over here who is exhibiting their power and their authority over the other one. And the other one's not um, taking it too kindly. Okay. I feel as though that they're. It's almost like. There is definitely some kind of power struggle. That you might be involved with on the second. Um, but I feel that spirit is saying. Just you need to approach it. In a logic. In a practical manner. And. A little bit of chivalry, chivalry, whatever that's called, however you say that, you know what I mean? Um, pretty much trying to, instead of being aggressive in this, to take a softer approach to kind of like um, maybe a little bit of compassion. For some, that's for some. Some of you, this could be over a romantic interest. Two people facing off because maybe that they're interested in the same person. It's leading to this tower moment. It's however it resonates, Aries. But that's pretty much what I have for you. What you could might have to deal with. It's kind of like a heads up. So that you could kind of prepare yourself and know, okay, this is how I need to conduct myself to try Maybe try not to make this an explosive situation. Okay, that's what I have for you. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your daily read for April 2nd, 2021. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and guys, messages for my Taurus, please. Messages for my Taurus people. Wow, okay. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Ace of Swords. You got five cards here. Um, the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Cups. What I feel is that there's... There is some kind of truth that comes out. I feel like that there is maybe 
I feel like somebody who may be acting immaturely, emotionally, and then we have the other person who's like kind of turning their back, saying, you know what, I'm not dealing with this. And there may even be some deception involved. But it feels like it's just like an overall emotional thing. Somebody being overly emotional, moody is what I'm getting. So you might be dealing with somebody with a mood swing. And, you know, that this might be one and the same person. It's like one minute they're all loving and wanting to give their cup. And the next minute they're icy cold. That's why I feel you're like you're dealing with Taurus, okay? And you're looking at things in a new mindset now because they're, this other person's attitude, their ups and downs, or this roller coaster has kind of like been weighing you down. And you might have to walk away from it, whether it's permanently, maybe it's for the day, maybe it's for the evening. But I feel like that on the second... You're going to have this escape, like needing to get away from this energy. Because I feel like that your person is going to be definitely very moody. And you, I, you, you see the picture for, with clarity. And you know that you carry the biggest load of this connection. Now, this could be business, this could be work even, you, or, you know, you could be dealing with people, customers or something like that, you know, that just something is weighing you down, something's moody, something's up and down, it's like a roller coaster, and you just might have to take a break, you just might have to walk away. Um, you know, being that this is a daily reading, it's not saying that if it's a permanent walk away, but it's definitely walking away from something that is in, an emotional block or something that is not emotionally fulfilling. Walking away from something that's not serving you. Kind of dropping the burdens, dropping the load. Dropping that weight off your shoulders and saying, you know, I need to get away from this. That's the kind of energy that I'm picking up for you, Taurus. Okay? That's what I have for you. Bye. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your daily reading for April 2nd, 2021. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. Clarity, messages, guidance, please. For Gemini. What are the messages for Gemini? We have the High Priestess here. The High Priestess call, tells you to call upon your intuition. Tapping into that subconscious, that hidden knowledge. Sometimes a High Priestess comes up with seek, as being secrets. But, you know, the more that I connect the more that I you know over time when you read the cards sometimes things evolve meanings evolve I'm seeing the high priestess as more as intuition now some people see it as hi somebody hiding secrets keeping things to themselves yes in some instances that's the case but when I see deception and secrets I am looking more at the moon card okay but here we have the high priestess and this is about, you know, tapping into that inner knowledge, tapping into your higher self. Tower moment, okay? And that, uh, by the way, that is Cancer energy. The tower is Scorpio Aries energy. So I feel like that this may be tapping into your higher self to deal with something sudden that may have happened, a sudden shakeup. The tower is about disruptions. The tower can also be just as a, an event that you did not see coming. And it could be also just this burst of enlightenment. Um, I also, I, sometimes I see the tower and I like to say the lid being blown off of something. You know, like maybe there was something hidden and, and it becomes revealed and you know, some in some intuitive knowledge that you just know. It's like the sudden insights is what I'm picking up. I'm not picking up disaster here. I'm really not. I'm picking up more of a situation that you may have been involved in. And your higher self, your intuition is kicking in. And you just have like that light bulb moment, that sudden burst of 
enlightenment. And then we have the hermit Virgo energy. And I feel like this is wise counsel guidance. So for some of you, you may not know what path you needed to take. You might have been seeking answers. With this high priestess and the hermit, I get seeking answers. And I feel that answer's just going to come to you suddenly, like out of the blue. Because you've been down and out. You've been feeling lost. Maybe even, um, this could be financially. Financially, and hurting financially. And I'm not seeing this as a broken heart either. I'm seeing this as financial pain and suffering. And trying to find your way out of that. And you're just going to have this burst of inspiration. Just, I think the tower is acting in a positive manner in this. Just a sudden, the answer's there kind of energy. Anyhow, that's what I have for you. Bye. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your daily reading for April 2nd, 2021. Okay. What it seems like you're dealing with is you're dealing with an enterprise. That is the first thing I got. Some plans that you put into place. I, it feels like that you were made some kind of decisions, executive decisions. The King of Wands is somebody who's very passionate about what he does. And he's always on the move. And with this Three of Wands, you know, the second might be a very busy day for you. Just saying. Okay. You might be like, and I feel this is related to work or e-commerce or commerce of any kind or of something. But I feel like your ships are coming in. You've put things into play. Maybe you had some kind of launch of a product. You know, I know this is getting very specific here. Or a launch of an idea. Because it, the Knight of Wands has some big ideas here. Some inspiring ideas. Creative ideas. And I think that your ideas are starting to take sprout here. The ships are coming in. And I feel like... You know, this may have been something that was very slow getting off the ground. Okay? But I do feel it's something solid, something stable. You know, it's getting off the ground. Your ships are coming in. You've waited quite a while for this. But it's slow, steady progress. You kept making progress forward. And I do feel this is finances and business. I really do. That's the energy that I am getting. Could be work-related. Some of you might be making a change, maybe a change in job that you've been waiting a while for your opportunity to change positions or to move up. And it feels like that is coming. And, you know, trust your intuition. Okay. The High Priestess card is under the deck. You may have manifested this, but I feel spirit is on your side. Okay. But I know this was kind of short and sweet. Um, I'm just curious here. Ace of Cups. For some of you, it could be romantic. You know, somebody, somebody being very passionate and going after what they want. But I feel as though this Ace of Cups is a new start. Something that's going to be emotionally fulfilling. And for some people, the money and the business is very fulfilling, overflowing. This could be overflowing of abundance here. Just saying. So something good's coming. Okay, that's what I have for you. Bye. Hello, Leah. Welcome to your daily reading for April 2nd, 2021. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, messages, guidance, please, for my Leos. What does Leo need to know? Okay. You have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. With, this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius energy. And you have the Death card, which is Scorpio energy. What I feel is that there is some kind of turning point that is happening around you on the second. Okay. The wheels continue to turn. You may have felt less inspired. You may have felt um, unmotivated, I get like this detached, 
detached from life. But something is about to change, something major. There is some kind of transformation that the universe is bringing about. Okay. Um, there's definitely seems to be an ending of a cycle. So Leo, you are ending a cycle of one of which you felt detached. One of, you, one of which you did not feel like you had that nurturing and that care. Maybe feeling isolated, feeling alone, not being grounded. Like I said, being really detached from life. So you seem to have been really down on your luck. But I feel like that is about to change. Okay? Okay, we have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is at crossroads. Okay? It is that making that decision. And, I've, and twos are planning. So you're making a decision, and, and this is making a decision and planning. So there's something that maybe you've had in your head that you're going to be planning about. And with this Three of Cups here and the Hermit, I feel like a collaboration, a meeting of the minds, okay? And one of these people might even be somebody that is wise, spiritual, spiritual counseling, uh, but I do feel that there's going to be some kind of celebration that is going to be coming up. So I do feel you are moving out of this energy into one of celebrating. Okay, that's what I have for you, Leo. Bye. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your daily reading for April 2nd, 2021. Hopefully this will be a good read for you. I did have somebody make a comment that the one reading was very demotivating. I want to make a little statement about that. If a reading doesn't seem that great, the reason why is it is Spirit's way of letting you know or giving you a heads up. Because Spirit, the cards cannot tell you exactly what to do, but they could say, okay, this is not going to be a good day. This is the energies you're going to be dealing with. Just so that you can prepare yourself and maybe there's actions that you can take to lessen the effects that if you're prepared then it's not as severe is what i'm getting okay anyhow let's see what messages and guidance spirit has for you guys for the second card spirit one more card thank you okay under the deck we have the empress this is positive in a way that this is about abundance this is about nurturing and love the empress operates out of pure love yes she can be moody in in the essence that if she has to be stern because she is a leader she will be but when she's stern, she does it in a very loving, gentle manner, okay? I do feel this is about nurturing. This is about abundance and growth. This could be giving birth to something. This is Taurus Gemini energy. And we have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Five of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. Piscinian energy. Okay, what I feel here is that someone, I, I'm going to flat out be honest with you, I think that you were ghosted, Virgo. I think that somebody rushed into your life, but somebody made a very quick exit because this knight is facing the past and in the, pa in, in, in the far left position. I think that somebody, you know, suddenly disappeared and ghosted without a trace leaving you hanging there wondering what just happened where did they go what's going on what did i do okay and and what i feel here is that um 
you kind of need to switch your perspective here. I get this very chaotic energy from this person that made their exit. And I feel like needing to look at that maybe this could be a blessing in disguise. I feel like this could be a lesson about worth and value of yourself. Knowing your value. Knowing what you have to bring to the table. And kind of turning your perspective around. And realize that the world is your oyster. Um, that this is a cycle. This was a very quick cycle. They entered, they exited. Okay? Plain and simple. And this is about having that closure. This is about having... A, like contentment and success. And I feel that that is starting from within yourself. And I do feel as though that they're, you know, seeing clarity, being very smart and tactful. I think new ideas. And I think that if this person tries to communicate with you again, you're going to give them a piece of your mind. I that just came across because they may have ghosted you, but they may communicate later. And I think that you're going to really give them a piece of your mind. And because you 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 found your value, you know what you have to bring to the table. You know that you harvest and give birth to abundance. And that's the way you need to view this. This person did not see your value. And you have to see these uh, this as I deserve value. I deserve somebody who knows my worth and who knows my value. Anyhow, that's the messages I have for you, Virgo. Bye. Hello, Libra. Welcome to your daily reading for April 2nd, 2021. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, messages and guidance, please, for Libra. What are the messages for Libra, please? Two cards. Let's see, we've got the moon card, Pisces energy. We've got temperance, Sagittarius energy. Two majors. Wow. And we have the Ten of Cups. Under the deck, we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, what I feel, you might be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is somebody who holds the money. Uh, and, uh, there could be some kind of new passionate beginning between this King. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, this is there. There, there's probably somebody brings some passion to this King of Pentacles. There's a lot of sexual passion there. Somebody may even be getting lucky on Friday. Just saying. <laughs> but I feel with the Moon card that things are not as they seem in this connection. And what I'm getting, oh, Libra. Please don't get angry with me saying this, but I feel as though that maybe you might be that other woman that brings passion to this king of pentacles who's living an ordinary life. I'm get, I see the king is looking at his pentacle and seeing like maybe I get the sense that the king is not fully fulfilled. Now keep in mind, like I said, roles can be vice versa. Okay, this could you could be the other man in this connection. But I'm feeling like, so we're, we're going by face value. You take it as it resonates. But I feel like this queen brings a lot of passion to this king's life. Okay. Um, and, you know, it's not exactly a fully fair give and take. But you kind of give to each other what somebody else doesn't. Okay. I definitely feel I, that's that's the energy I'm feeling. Maybe you're not the third party. Maybe you are. The main person that's in this king's life, I don't know. But what I feel is that the things are not as they seem. However, there's some peace 
there between the two of you. There's harmony between the two of you. And there's happiness. It's like you are happy with this person. Okay? And I think it's very secret, very hush-hush. Okay? And Spirit is telling me that you need to kind of be patient because you're, you're heading towards your Ten of Cups. That king might be making a decision that he might be going towards his third party because he's not being fulfilled in his higher level of commitment, per se. And he might be headed towards the third party. If you're that third party, that's why I feel that you are the third party or you're the person in the wings waiting on him. But I do feel that you are heading towards that Ten of Cups. And I want to point out we've got rainbows in this card and rainbows in this card. So you and this person have been through some storms. Maybe this person is an ex. Okay. And you went through some storms. That there is some kind of deception and and between the two of you. But what I feel now is that, you know, this is this may be a secret connection, but with your patience, I feel you're heading towards your Ted of Cups. Okay, that's what I have for you, Libra. Bye. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your daily reading for April 2nd, 2021. And you already have a card that wanted to fall out. So we will keep that card. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides. Clarity, messages, guidance, please, for Scorpio. Clarity, messages, guidance for Scorpio. Clarity, messages, guidance, please, for Scorpio. Uh, let's take a look at this card. This card is the Emperor. Um, this is Aries Taurus energy. Okay. And what I'm feeling from this, this is about somebody who is taking control. Okay. You might be taking control of a situation or you might be under somebody's control. You might be dealing with an emperor. You might be dealing with a boss. You know, this could be within your home, some head of the household, or this could be in the workplace dealing with a boss who's laying down some rules who's laying down, who is about structure and order and things being done their way. This could also be your energy, however it resonates, because roles could be vice versa. Okay, let's get the other cards and see what else comes up here. Okay, you do have a couple other cards. You have the Two of Cups here. That's a partnership, a decision in a partnership. You have the Four of Cups. Oh, you got an extra card here with the Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> Fours are stagnation and could also be stability. But what I feel is that there is this partnership, whether it's business, work, or romance. I'm feeling more romance, especially with two from the cup suit here. I'm feeling like that there is somebody in this connection who is a little bit overpowering, somebody who is domineering, somebody, like I said in the beginning with this um, Emperor card, somebody who's about structure, who's laying down the law, and it's almost like it's this is their way or the highway type of energy here. And I feel like that you're not happy about this. I feel as though that Maybe this was not what you signed up for when you got into this connection. You had no idea this person was like this. And I feel like maybe you were, maybe you thought you could change this person. But this person's very stubborn. You're stubborn too, Scorpio. Both of you are stubborn. As I get stubborn energy here. And I think you both are holding on to your values. You both are holding on to what you believe in. And I do feel that it's causing a conflict here. We do have the Ten of Cups and we also have the Eight of Cups here. So uh, there seems to be some kind of emotional blockage to your Ten of Cups. And I feel a lot of it has to do with the way that your person handles you. And I think you're starting to see things a little bit clearly now and realizing, okay, this person's not going to change. What am I going to do about it? Okay, you want that Ten of Cups, you want that happiness, and you've been holding on to this even though you have not been totally happy and satisfied, okay? Because this emperor is looking at this connection and this emperor is saying, I'm the boss, okay? And Scorpio, that's not going over too well with you. But you've been holding on to this, 
but you know you may be contemplating thinking about things and keeping your you may be keeping your thoughts to yourself that you may be choosing to go off and look for that ninth comfort which fulfillment in a new direction you might be leaving this behind because this is definitely not fulfilling not making you happy here you're thinking about it a lot and i you might be going moving on and finding your ten of cups elsewhere okay that's what i have for you scorpio bye hello sagittarius welcome to your daily reading for april 2nd 2021 holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity messages guidance please for sagittarius okay let's see what comes up here for you guys Okay, Sad, you got four cards. Okay, what I feel here right in the center is some... <clears throat> I feel this is your energy being very defensive. Um, this is the... The Shadow Side, also known as the Devil card. Capricorn energy. Okay, but I feel as though that they're... This is, this is somebody who is stricken with fear who is feels like that they're backed in the corner so you may have felt like you were backed in the corner producing this fear of being to the point of almost paralyzing you feeling like you cannot move okay and i feel like this could be some kind of unhealthy attachment this could also be about self-doubt you might be doubting yourself of whether you could persevere and get through something Okay, um, the experience has not been pleasant, and I feel as though with the Four of Swords, this is about maybe finally being able to be in a place of taking a break, taking a rest. Okay, the the Four of Swords is about healing, taking a rest, rejuvenation. Okay, maybe even contemplation and thinking. So I feel like you've been doing a lot of thinking about your situation here and trying to come up with a solution. And I feel that you're going to be breathing new life into something, whether this is a relationship or a work situation. The sun is vitality. The sun brings enlightenment. And I feel as though like I'm seeing this child more like an angel, an angel on a white horse coming towards you with the answers okay so there might you i think that you are doing some problem solving sagittarius trying to figure out okay i'm backed into this corner how do i get out and i think there's an answer coming on the way that is going to bring about growth where you're going to finally be able to get back on track and it's going to come in very quickly there's is this very swift change we got the Knight of Wands here too. That's very quick change. And somebody and this answer is gonna rush in suddenly. So you're gonna get some kind of communication that you know it's all it's full steam ahead. It's like no longer being on hold, no longer it's like you're finally going to get out of that corner because you've persevered, you've progressed through this, you've worked through this, and now you know you're finally seeing the light of day. You're finally feeling alive. You're finally feeling good about things. Because your plans are coming together. Okay, that's what I have for you, Sag. Bye. Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your daily reading for April 2nd, 2021. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Clarity, messages, guidance, please, for Capricorn. Under the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. There you are. You are displaying a lot of patience, 
a lot of understanding. Uh, I think that you are very concentrated on your finances. Maybe you run a business. I'm getting like business owner, okay? Or at least some kind of management position uh, within a company. This could also be representing you at home being very, she's very motherly, gives a very nurturing, okay? And very well grounded. And we have here is that we have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in the reverse. So this is telling me that you might have been dealing with somebody who was emotionally unavailable. And we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again here. So a lot of water here. Um, this is, uh, you might be dealing with something that is emotional. Queens are water. But I feel that you are handling your emotions, being very grounded and not letting them overrun you is what I'm picking up here. But I feel there could be, um, the second could be about emotions. Somebody like maybe withdraw, has withdrawn. Um, but I do see some kind of passionate beginning. Maybe somebody is unemotionally available, but there's this great sexual energy between the two of you, okay? Um, but I do feel that somebody coming forth with their cup to offer it to you, maybe even offer an apology. Um, the king of cups could also have been somebody who was unfaithful. So somebody may have been unfaithful to you, and they're coming forth with this apology, wanting a new beginning wanting to start over kind of what somebody may even be wanting to transform this connection into something deeper okay because right now it seems like it's very superficial um some kind of codependency or some kind of unhealthy attachment this could also be deception here deception and trickery behind the scenes behind her back you know something going on here and we've got the lover's card a decision in love somebody may be kept up at night trying to make a decision and very worried about this decision because they knew they they know they want a new path and they want victory okay so somebody wants victory in a new beginning something that it has potential to grow but they're very worried about this uh, because they know they have to make this decision. They have a decision between two because they can't let go. And, and this is, and some of the, this is all going on behind your scene, uh, behind the scenes. And the high priestess was here too, which is about your intuition. Intuitively, you know what's going on. You, you felt it, but you're being very patient with this person. But I do feel that, you know, even though they're not available to you, I feel that they're going to come with an apology or an offer, wanting some kind of new transform things, wanting change, and wanting a new passion at beginning. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Bye. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your daily reading for April 2nd, 2021. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, messages, guidance, please, for Aquarius. Clarity. Messages and guidance for Aquarius. Don't want to pop for you. Could be me. Anyhow, let's just, we'll do it the other way. Okay, you have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles represents balance. Represents trying to balance or juggle multiple things. So, be aware of that, Aquarius. You might be juggling multiple projects. This could be work and home. This could be even juggling your finances. We have the hanged man, Virgo energy. Um, that's like 
being kind of suspended. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm getting here is I think that you are juggling things within your family finances. I feel this is a, very much about finances because we've got the Pentacles here. I think there are some kind of decisions you need to make for your family stability. I think you may have been hanging in there, dangling, maybe even contemplating before you made your move of what you are doing. So I think that on the second, it's going to be about weighing in on a decision, trying to balance your finances. And I feel as though you kind of feel like that you're not moving ahead and there's some kind of change that has to take place. And we have the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Swords under the deck. This is somebody who's analyzing things, okay? Analyzing things, problem solving. So I feel as though that maybe you feel stuck or maybe even somebody might even be stuck up in their head. But I'm feeling like this is somebody who's seeking a solution, seeking a logical solution to some kind of financial um, issue. So I feel like um, Aquarius, and I know this is going to be a very short read for you, but I feel like that the second is going to be about balancing that checkbook. Ah, budget, budget, coming up with a budget. There's somebody here that might be coming up with a budget. Then we have the Queen of Wands here. There might be two females putting their heads together or two feminine energies. You could have a feminine energy just saying, and this could be you, the Aquarius energy. You might be dealing with a fire sign, like putting your heads together to come up with some kind of creative solution to the financial problems and but and end up having victory okay i feel like they're going they're you're going to make progress in figuring out what to do here that's what i feel like this is what, what friday's going to be about like two people doesn't have to be two females it could be male and female okay tara knows no gender <clears throat> but it is somebody who is being very creative with their with the idea and somebody who's trying to be logical. And maybe these creative ideas, you coming through and trying to analyze them to try to get out of a predicament. Okay, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Bye. Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your daily reading for April 2nd, 2021. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, messages, guidance please for Pisces clarity messages guidance for Pisces what are the messages for Pisces please okay we have The Five of Wands. The Five of Wands talks about conflict, strife, competition. And we have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy. And we have the Four of Wands. So what I feel this is talking about is a need to get something under control. Okay? The need to have some kind of structure. It's some kind of um, boundaries here. Uh, I'm seeing boundaries because I'm looking at this four of wands. Somebody setting up their boundaries because right now I feel like for the second, I feel there's some kind of chaotic energy. There might even be some disagreements here. And I feel that you are going to need to lay some rules down. So, you know, be very firm in, you know, taking a leadership role. This is taking a leadership role in this conflict okay so just be a little bit forewarned you're probably in for a conflict and it might be within your home because the four of wands is also representing your home it's representing stability and it's represent it could also be stagnation so you with these two cards this is conflict within the home that there's like some kind of stalemate here some kind of stagnation and i feel in order to bring about that stability back you have to take a leadership role 
we have the four of wands under the deck and we have the hermit card virgo energy so i feel like this is maybe pull maybe even isolation or wise counsel i think that you have to be the brains you are going to be the one that comes up with the solution or you might this might involve a counselor so you you know a mediator somebody to kind of like help bring about that structure back that stability back the four here is somebody really holding on i feel like that this is maybe even somebody holding on to anger and that's why this seems to be an ongoing issue right now pisces i feel like this is for and for some of you this is a continuation maybe from days before but i feel like like somebody's holding on very tightly to their what they believe in taking a stance um maybe even you know doing things by themselves but i feel like that there is definitely a the hermit talks about taking time to think things through and coming up with a game plan and after thinking things through taking that leadership role to bring back some kind of stability and this might even be finances within the home argument over money um maybe the wifey had a major shopping spree and spent too much money it could be something as simple or stupid as that or the husband going out and saying oh i need um all going out and buying all these toys or these tools going out and splurging on a new car or a motorbike or whatever you know um the conflict could be over money and finances and somebody needs to like have some rules some some structure here say listen we got to buckle down here <clears throat> that's kind of the energy i get it i'm getting i feel that like somebody is being the wise person somebody's being the and, and with this five of pentacle four of pentacles here somebody withholding finances or Holding, trying to hold on to the finances while somebody else might be splurging. That's what I feel this is. Because here we have another pentacle. Okay? You know, so it's like um, it's like the, the analogy of money growing on trees. Money doesn't grow on trees, and I think that's what this argument's about. And I think this argument is going to be a turning point that, you know, there's got to be some discipline. And you may have turned a blind eye to this situation before, but I think that this is a turning point. That you're no longer turning a blind eye and you know that you have to put your foot down. Okay, that's what I have for you. Bye.